doing well. Today is the last day of the year and I am super excited for 2022. Today I'm going to be taking you along with me. I'm going to be doing some abstract painting. This image was created by Jonathan Patrick. He's a really, really cool artist on Instagram. I do know him personally and he his art is just amazing. I aspire to be as good as him, but he has many years of experience and practice. But uh, he let me play around with his art. He gave me his file and I was able to laser engrave his art on a piece of wooden canvas, I guess. Um, so I'm going to be painting it uh, and kind of recapping on the past year and goals for 2022. So I just have a few different brushes here. I I don't know specifically like the names or anything like that. I just kind of took what I could find. I have like a bunch of different sizes, so I'm just gonna incorporate that. I have a painter's palette, an art palette here um, that I'm gonna be mixing the paints with. And my absolute favorite paint set, the Army Painter Mega Paint Set. It is absolutely amazing. There is every color you could possibly think of. And the names are absolutely hilarious. Like it's orc blood and I don't know, barbarian flesh. I guess it's not that funny, but <laughs> kind of morbid. <laughs> but I guess it is an army painter set. I'm gonna kind of plan out what I want to do in this art piece. This is super abstract. This is like a little frog with a kind of bionic eye. This is a dog with goggles and a mustache. Okay. And some missing teeth. I hope he's good, but yeah. And we got a rat here with a bionic eye. And this is a hilarious piece. I love it so much. The colors um, on the actual Adobe file are amazing. They're, it just makes the piece. Got some browns, but I don't wanna really use, you know, typical colors. I kinda wanna go out there and try some really bold colors. I'm gonna see if I can try to find the original file uh, colors to kinda give you an idea of what it actually looks like. So these are the colors that um, the file was originally in and the variations that I want to make is kind of like this. I want it to be very bold, but um, I think I'm going to switch up the colors. So I'm going to use this as a reference for now and then I'm going to really make this pop. Let's take some blue. Put a few drops of that. Yeah, this doesn't come with a lot of paint, but like I don't paint all that much and I feel like these are perfect. I don't need a lot um, of each color, so it's not too bad. And you could definitely replace the colors. I need some, I need some colors that will just pop. So let's see. Let's use that bar barbarian flush. It's actually nice. Jungle green. Okay, let's see. Let's see what vibe we're going for. So I hope you guys are doing well. I really want to know what your New Year's resolutions are because I haven't really written mine down yet. I do have a few in mind, but I think I still really need to sit down and think about them. I really didn't think I would be making YouTube videos this time last year. I did post a video or two and then I, I really just didn't like it and I stopped. Uh, but then like I, I really got motivated because people close to me were, were really motivating me to kind of keep at it and like be creative because Creativity is something that I've always really enjoyed doing um, and I always kind of suppress that because I, I didn't think I was like good enough and and it, it wasn't useful. It wouldn't help me in like, my career and stuff like that. But then I kind of came to realize like that is not the case at all. Like being creative is pretty much 
therapy to me. Like right now, I am so happy just doing this. This time last year, I, I was scared to be creative. I wasn't myself. I was in school and I was stressing out with what I should be doing and if I'm in the wrong pathway. But then, you know, like this year, I really tried to get out of my comfort zone and post more videos. It honestly was a blessing in disguise because it allowed me to like get a better job, move to a different city and kind of start over. And I feel like now that I'm settled and happy where I'm at, um, I guess like in life and stuff like that, I really just want to grow and kind of continue that and, and get better and stronger. I hope that any of you that are watching this really go for their goals and, and not be afraid to kind of tackle like what you want and, and go for it. Because I used to be the most quiet person. I never spoke to anyone. Like I, I would just be super quiet, laid back, and I would never imagine in a million years that I'd be making videos talking about my life and my journey doing 3D printing and and design. Um, so it, it's just crazy how life kind of changes and kind of gets you out of your comfort zone. So I really encourage everyone who may have a goal to maybe you have a business that you want to start or something you want to do like I really encourage people this year coming up to kind of focus on it and go for it and not look back it's so easy to just be compliant with your everyday um, lives your nine to five and stuff like that and not want to like get more but I encourage everyone to like set two or three goals for the new year and really tackle them and hold yourself accountable to it and whether that's like going to the gym or waking up earlier and one hour earlier to like read or sketch or practice singing or whatever you want to do whatever's your hobby or some something that you have of interest waking up an hour earlier just to kind of feed that part of yourself is so important i have a few new year's resolutions one of them is to be really consistent in learning Fusion 360. Um, I love 3D printing and I am very sick of just like printing stuff on Thingiverse. I have so many ideas in my head and I just wanted to find an avenue where I could just create my own models and share that with you guys. Um, another thing would be mastering mold making. So I'm able to prototype product designs. Kind of just show you guys the process of that so you can emulate it as well. Another one would be to would be to manufacture a product. Try it out, make the prototypes and really finalize a design that I'm confident with and getting it shipped and kind of showing you the process in doing that from the creator's perspective through the design and then actually getting it manufactured and seeing the product, the final product. So I think that would be a really cool project for next year. And I have a few ideas that I want to do with that. Nothing too crazy, nothing like that requires electrical components or nothing like that. Something simple that I can kind of take it a through Z with you guys and you can see the process if you were ever interested in manufacturing your own product. Another goal is reaching a thousand subscribers. That would be absolutely amazing. I am almost at 500 at the halfway mark. So I really hope that in the next few months or even the next six months, I kind of tackle that and um, get to a thousand. That would mean so much to me. I would be so, so, so happy. I hope that this year I am super consistent with posting videos. I don't miss a week. And if I do, it has to be a real good excuse. I hope that the consistency will pay off and I can reach that thousand subscriber mark and and from there just keep going and honestly I think it's super fulfilling to have a YouTube channel I definitely recommend it if you're contemplating it I would just say go for it it's 
never the wrong time and it's also never the right time. You just have to go ahead and do it and if you don't have a camera or lights or a mic, just start with your phone even. You can use iMovie which is free to edit your videos and I'm sure there's a lot of other softwares out there that you can use and just go for it. Try your luck. If no one watches your videos, oh well. Like I don't have many views on most of my videos, so. But I still love creating them and kind of sharing the journey of the creative process and attempting different things and sharing my failures. Even though some of my projects turn out like absolute crap, <laughs> I, I definitely still love sharing and kind of talking about my mistakes and what I could do better and, and things I would change just so if someone else is attempting it they know what they're getting themselves into if things work what they should avoid that's kind of what I do because you know some projects are time consuming or they involve money and 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 time and you don't want to waste your time if something's not working you know art just is so calming to me i'm not even good at painting but like even just doing this is just so good for your mind it gives you a break and even just putting on some music it's so nice to just sit and and do this for a change because i feel like life is just go 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 especially if you live in a city it doesn't stop once you kind of sit down and just enjoy and paint and draw or even just listen to music and go for a walk it's just something about art and drawing and sketching that just allows you to connect with yourself like on a deeper level and you just feel so relaxed. All these colors are literally so experimental. I don't even know what I'm doing at this point, but I'm just letting my hand take it away and attempt some sort of design. So I guess what I ended up doing is like a tie-dye effect. Something about abstract art is just so cool. This is such a random piece, but then it just like, it just makes you happy when you look at it. And you're also like, what the heck is going on? But it's just, it's so cute and crazy at the same time. I love it. how much you can change in a year whether it's like something that you're unhappy with or you know aspects of your life that you want to change last year I didn't even know what a 3d printer really was like I knew what it was but I, I had no idea the things I even do with it and and how much fun it is I never really was exposed to much technology growing up besides like, I guess, like a laptop, a computer, kind of just the basic stuff, but kind of finding out about 3D printers and 3D software has been so fulfilling. The fact that I never used to use it and now I'm, I'm kind of like dabbling into it is so different. and. I feel like I'm a little behind compared to someone that has like a design degree or something like that. But I definitely want to learn and I'm very eager to learn.
So this is it. I got a lot of funky colors going on. I had a lot of fun doing this. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next year with a new video. I'm super excited for the new year. And yeah, drop down your new year's resolutions in the comments. I'd love to read them. And have a great night.